the death cross. This term has been thrown around a lot lately since the Bitcoin crash. Today, we're going to be speaking about exactly what is a death cross, what a death cross would mean for Bitcoin, and what does history tell us about Bitcoin and death crosses. You guys don't want to miss this video. Let's jump right in. Hey, what's up? Jay here and welcome to Bitcoin Daily, bringing you guys the best tips, tutorials and ideas to help you guys become profitable and successful investors. The goal of this channel is, as always, to empower you, the people with the knowledge and resources to get up to that next level. So, guys, make sure to smash the like on this video if you enjoy it. And if you're new here, if it's your first time on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. So first of all, what is the death cross? The death cross is a technical chart pattern indicating the potential for a major sell-off. The death cross appears on a chart when a stock's short-term moving average crosses below its long-term moving average. The most common moving averages used to find the death cross is the 50-day and 200-day moving averages. So the death cross is the opposite of the golden cross. The golden cross is when the 50 day moving average moves above the 200 day moving average. So there's a golden cross and a death cross. One is bullish, one is bearish. Now one thing to note and remember when dealing with things like moving averages and some of the other technical indicators is that most of these tools are lagging indicators, meaning that they're telling you what's already happened they're not telling you exactly what's happening and they do not tell you what's going to happen. These indicators and these tools do not predict the future. Both death crosses and golden crosses do often produce false signals, so you have to be aware of that. Now, the next question is, how has a death cross affected Bitcoin previously before in its history when it's happened on the chart? So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So to find the most recent death cross in the Bitcoin chart, we have to go back all the way to October 22nd of 2019. In October of 2019, you guys can see circled in red here, we had a death cross. What happened after we got this death cross here, as you guys can see right there, once we got the death cross here from its highs here, after the death cross, we dropped a total of 62% in the market. That 62% indicated the bottom here and and you'll see that the that it happened during the pandemic of last year in march of 2020 and that took us back up to where where we eventually got the golden cross right which was in may of 2020 and that's kind of where the entire bull run began after that right now this is a perfect example of a false signal here where we had a uh, golden cross, right? Where it, the 50 day went over the 200 day, but then it went right back down and we continued down. And then after that, then we also, we had the golden cross again and that time it played out. But the first time it was a false signal. You could also see the golden cross right here as well before we took off all the way to the highs up here, which was around that $14,000 area in June of 2019 before we started going down and where we had that correction of about 47% before we saw that death cross, which led to then a correction of about 62% or so. If we go a little bit further back to the 2017 and 18 bull run, you can see here when we topped off and when we saw that death cross now now what you'll notice if we look back really quick here at 2019 is that before after hitting the top before we saw the death cross it took 124 days okay so that's a very important number to remember there 124 days now when we go back to um, 2017 when we hit that all-time high it took before we saw this death cross over here it took 103 days right so that took 103 days to see this death cross. Um, before the death cross, we went down as low as 70%. After the death cross, uh, we ended up going as low as 60%. 
So we had a, a 70% correction. Uh, we went back up and then at that point, once we saw, once we, the death cross showed up on the charts, uh, we had from the moment of the, of the death cross, we had an additional 60% uh, drop there in the market. Now we go back even further here, right? Let's go all the way back to 2013 and 14, right? So 2013 was that previous bull run where we went to a high of about 11 or $1,200 here for Bitcoin. So this was the previous bull run before the 2017 bull run. And if you look here, it looks very, very similar, right? We saw a topping over here and then we had a pullback of about 63% where we did make some of it back, but then we just kind of grinded lower, eventually coming across that death cross. Between the all-time high at the time and the death cross, it took 128 days. Once we saw the death cross here, after that, we retraced another 63%. So we had a 63% drop from the all-time high, once we got the death cross, we saw a additional 63% drop. Now what's interesting here about this specific bull run here is that during that same bull run in 2013, we saw a very, very similar price action here where we had a huge run up and then a huge correction. You can see this was a correction of 80%, guys, 80% correction. Imagine if we saw that uh, instead of 60, we, instead of the 50%, we saw 80% correction. That's what happened back in 2013. And you can see we even went under this, uh, the 50 day moving average and we tested the 200 day moving average before when the, it looked at the time, like the death cross was going to happen, but Bitcoin started moving back up and eventually it continued on up. So there was no, there was actually no death cross during this time which helped Bitcoin continue on its way up. And if you wanna take it even further to the first official bull run for Bitcoin back in 2011, you can see here that we had a run up to about $32 before a, let's see, uh, about an 86% uh, correction. And then that's when we saw the, the death cross right here. I forgot to circle it. After the death cross, we saw an additional 60% correction there. All right, so now we know the theory behind the death cross. We know exactly what it is and how it works. And we've looked back on previous bull markets and bull cycles and seen how the death cross has affected the price of Bitcoin when it has happened in its history. So the only thing left to do at this point is to see where we are currently, how the death cross would affect Bitcoin and the current market cycle and where that could lead us to. So before jumping into that, make sure guys that you subscribe to the channel. If you guys are new here, make sure to turn on the notification bell and of course, don't forget to smash that like button. Let's do it together, guys. On the count of three, let's go ahead and all of us like the video together. One, two, three, boom. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and take a look at where we currently are and how a death cross would affect the market overall. So currently we've seen a drop of about 53% from the highs to the lows, right? Next, you can see that since the all time high, it's been about 49 days as of today, right? So that's another important number to keep in mind. Remember, if you look up here, these are the last three uh, bull cycles before, once we got the all time high and before the death cross happened, this is how many days each of them took. So it took 103 day, 123 days, 128 days, 103 days, and 101 days. Okay, so that's an important factor to remember there because that can give us an idea of how long it would take for the for this current cycle if if we're seeing the same 
thing play out if we see a death cross play out it'll give it it gives us an idea of how much time we have before that happens so on average we're talking about 114 days before it's seeing that death cross that would put us right around august 6 if that were to happen um here right so that that gives us a date of around august 6. So we have more or less an estimate of when that death cross would be if the averages come true. And then the next thing that we have to figure out is what is the drop that we can expect here. So the average drop has been around that 55% range. So if we go from where we currently are right now, let's say we have to kind of guesstimate where the price would be, right? So I would imagine that we'd be, um, if, if we, saw that happen that scenario that means that we did not go above 42,000. so we'd probably be in the range that we are right now either in the same kind of range uh we might be closer to 40 we might be lower you know so we have to kind of guesstimate from there uh where we would be let's say just for this scenario that we would be at forty thousand dollars right let's say we're, we'd we'd be at we'd be at 40 when the death cross happens and and we're getting a 55 percent drop guys this gives us about an estimated drop down to eighteen thousand dollars so let's recap this right so on average um the amount of times over every single bull cycle once we've hit the top um, to the point where the death cross happens has taken on average 114 days. So if we, we put out the 114 days, that gives us a date of around August 6. On average, the drop after the death cross has been around 55%. So if we uh, kind of guess where the price would be by August 6, and then we kind of draw, you know, draw down 55%, that gives us a range around 18 to 20 thousand dollars so the overall total from the top that we would drop down if this scenario happened would be 72 percent now remember guys this is just some a little bit of theory we're, we're playing around with a lot of averages and we're just trying to give you and show you the case scenario of what could happen if if this played out because a lot of a lot of people have been talking about the death cross uh, so we've been getting a lot of questions on about the death cross so we wanted to cover it in depth for you guys with uh history data you know that backs up this information here so this does not mean it's going to happen it's just if it were to happen this is kind of the numbers this is kind of ballpark numbers where what we would expect provided by the information that we have on on bitcoin's past um the data that we have from the past that bitcoin has given given us through previous bullish markets when it's hit a death cross now long term we are still bullish we still think that there's a lot of reversal patterns out there that can spring the price up higher and that would invalidate this scenario for now right Alrighty guys, so thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Remember that we still are bullish Bitcoin, but we always like to give every side of the story. We, we try to put the whole story together and give you guys as much information as possible so that then you can make the best decision for yourself, depending what happens, what scenario happens in the market. If you guys have enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash that like button, guys. If you guys are new here, then subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell as we're working our way up to 10,000 subscribers. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Tomorrow, we will do a full Bitcoin market analysis on what's going on right now. So thank you, guys. I will see you on the next video. As always, Peace and love.